You know, Mike, nobody picked this one, except for maybe some of those students at either UConn or Kentucky, because who else would have thought this was happening? You know, this is the first time ever we're going to have a seven seed taking on an eight seed. And like you said, both teams just peaking at the right time. Before the tournament, no one would have picked either of these teams to make it to this game. Everyone was pretty much down on Kentucky after the regular season. You know, they lost 10 games. People uh, the, on the fan base, they were pr printing 40 and 0 t shirts because they thought they were going to go undefeated after getting six McDonald's All Americans on this year's team. But hey, they've really put it together. And whoa, boy, what a run they are making right now. Yep. You nailed it there. And keyed by the, the twins, the Harrison twins, Andrew and Aaron. I think here's Aaron making one of his clutch shots, and he's nailed three of them. The kid's unbelievable. And I say kid, now they're playing like seasoned vets, aren't they? Yeah, you know, they sure. And Aaron, I can guarantee you, he's never going to have to buy a meal in the state of Kentucky ever again. He's a legend for the Wildcats now. As you just said, he's hit three clutch shots. Two game-winning threes, basically, in the last two games to beat both Michigan and Wisconsin. Just incredible, incredible clutch plays. And it's funny, his coach, John Calipari, said he's just one of those special guys. He's not afraid to take the shot. He's not afraid to miss the shot. And when UConn star Shabazz Napier was asked about Aaron, uh, what he would do if the game is close, down the stretch, you know, Napier said he's going to make sure he runs Aaron Harrison off that left spot where he's made those last two shots. This is one thing he's going to make sure he does is not let Aaron Harrison take another shot that can beat, I know beat that, his team. That's, and it's fascinating. That's been his spot to nail it.